got our money right here and this is our budget for how much we can spend on some fishing gear i'll let you pick which one yo pinky pinky <laughs> we're going with the pink but here is our new rod little kids combo it's a fish oh that is actually a fish no way oh that is a solid fish wow he's got some go he's got me all up in the sticks it's a big perch get in here oh wow 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 i think that might be up there with a pb g'day g'day everyone and welcome back to another video i hope you're all having a fantastic week um, i'm gonna get straight into today's video as you may or may not know i do do a couple of challenge videos on my channel from here and there and today i thought i'd go ahead and do another challenge now this one has not been put on my channel yet and i actually haven't seen too many people do it it is actually as a matter of fact a budget challenge right here in my hand is a 50 dollar note and this is my budget on how much money i can spend on some fishing gear i'm talking rod reel line lures etc 50 dollars is the budget to spend on fishing gear i'm going to then head out in the kayak and obviously try and catch some fish on the new stuff now since the budget for today's video is only 50 dollars i really don't know how this is going to go because I have to get a rod and a reel for under $50 and the only thing I can think of under 50 is a kids combo which is more than likely not going to be that great terrible rod terrible reel but hey it's called a challenge for a reason and it will make it a lot more interesting also the lures that I'm going to be getting are not going to be off the shelf they're going to be straight from the bargain bin so hopefully we're able to find some goodies pretty much covered all basics on what we're going to be doing today I've got to quickly head around to the petrol station to fill up my car so Let's head around there now, get into today's video, come along for the adventure. This should be, should be very interesting. Just the 20 and I'll get a bottle of water. Gotcha. Have a good day. Good day, sweetie. Catch up. All right, we're all fueled up. Got our money right here, and this is our budget for how much we can spend on some fishing gear. P planning on getting myself a nice little combo, and I'm going to get some lures out of the bargain bin. I mean, I do have fifty dollars, but the plan is to spend under it. 50 is just the budget, so under it would be preferred. All right, complete angle is just here, so let's get a, let, get across the road without getting run over and see what they have to offer. Great size, great. Is there any cheap ones? On 50? Actually, I think I remember they're down here. The Angus. Trev Tormentor. Which hmm? going? The Great Tormentor. The Trev Tormentor. The Trev Tormentor. Um, I'm after a kids combo for as cheap as you can, as cheap as we can get. This one's $24.99 with kid combo. What is this? Four foot two. <laughs> Bloody slow that is. Two to four. Doesn't even have a size of it, eh? No. I think that might be a goer. In the green? Nice drag click up here, I reckon we'll get that one. Paul Lake will be able to hear that you're on. I'll let you pick. Which one? The old pinky. Pinky? <laughs> We're going with the pink. The pretty pink. That's what we can get that spooled up with cheap. Yeah. Cheap line? Alright. What lures are you using out of the bargain bin? Yeah, I'll just have to have a dig through the bargain bin and find something. Unless you want to go like this across the some of these ones. Oh, I could go with them. Slip you into a snag up the. Are you fishing up? Oh, yeah. We could go with them. I might put them aside for now. Oh, I think they're a little deep. There's got to be some jig heads in here. So I've pretty much damn well dig through all that. <laughs> might have to go with the ones I pulled out. The crusties. We'll go with them. Yeah, we got like this, uh, 
Is six, six down to your right? How much is that going to cost? Like two bucks. Two bucks for a spool? Yeah. Far out, all right. We'll go with that then. Two bucks, 25. I don't know how much these are, but they're in the bargain bin and 50 cents off, so six bucks. probably cheap, yeah. Less and that'll six. leave me a little bit of money to get some decent jig heads, I think. And that'll put me under the $50 budget. Yeah, Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have much of an option but to go with the 1 16th in a size 1 -0. I was hoping they had a bit of a smaller hook. Yep, I should go all right. We'll get them instead. Uh, not instead, we'll get them as well. 10 bucks. Wait, so are they supposed to be in the bargain bin but on the wall? Yeah. They got the same orange dot. Oh, this these comes in motor oil. I think I might have to go with these. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with them instead. Let's see our setup right here. Let's go check out. $6, I actually might. Are you picking up or somebody else? I'm actually going to do it. So then I've got at least a backup option. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with the popper as well. That's $41.99. Perfect. All right, well, we've made it out to the fishing destination for today and we are on the water. But just before I go over the new setup we got, the conditions for today are absolutely pristine. There's a very, very gentle breeze, slight overcast, sunny in spots, and uh, just really flat. It's a little bit glassy. I wouldn't say super glassy, because that water is really dirty. We've had um, a couple of tsunami warnings the past week or so, and it's kind of stirred up the lakes a bit, which is a good thing. I really enjoy fishing around snags for brim and estuary perch in dirty water. I just seem to find it turns them on a bit. Now, the new combo that we have got, I'm going to start things off with the rod. By the way, this is all in our $50 budget. I'm going to put the prices of all these on the screen as I go. But here is our new rod. Little kids combo. I think this one here costed us $25. What this? Little 200 size reel. Two to four kilo. Four foot. This is a four foot rod. I'm going to be trying to catch some brim on it. Now, for the lure and jig heads of choice that we've gone with, We've got these little Z-Man crusties. That's how you know it's in the bargain bin. That little orange sticker right there. These costed me, I'm pretty sure, $6. So that's a really good score right there. Comes in a six pack and I got that in the motor oil color. Just because motor oil is a really gun color when it comes to fishing for brim. And I've gone with these 1 16th size 1 uh, hidden weight hooks to match up with that. So I also got this spooled, forgot to say was six pounds straight through fluorocarbon, which costed me two or three dollars, I think, for a spool of that. So very, very cheap. Definitely in the budget with our nice little spinning stick right here. Uh, I think without further ado, I've covered everything of what I've got going on. So let's get these lures tied on, start casting around these snags, and hopefully we can get onto some fish. This is gonna be a very hard challenge because this rod is very tiny with a terrible reel, but let's try and make it happen. I cannot believe this thing only has four eyelets. Literally four eyelets. You know what? I'm looking at this and having second thoughts. I reckon this is gonna pull us a PB brim today. There we go, we've got our little lure on that jig head, rigged up to the line. Let's let me turn around and we'll start fishing the edges. Oh wow, this thing is so little. And how's that drag? Very dodgy. I am going to be starting off with no scent. I did bring scent, but that's the only thing I brought to give me a little bit of an extra advantage. I've got no other soft plastics in that bag, so it's this or nothing. It swims really nice in the water. Those little back legs wiggling around. Let's see how this thing casts. Oh! perfectly next to that log all right we're guaranteed to get a wind knot later on in the day guaranteed look how stringy that line is i don't even really know how to work this like i can't get a nice action can't see what it looks like underwater can't really get a nice flicking action because the rod tip's so stiff Right, I've been flicking around for around about half an hour. 
and I'm thinking this challenge is going to be very, very difficult. I wasn't going to put scent on this early, but I'm going to put scent on already. Little Procure Bloodworm scent. Just going to apply a bit of that to the lure. Hopefully encourage the bite. fish oh that is actually a fish no way oh good flatty on the six pound oh. here he is oh where's that net oh actually he's gonna go mental in this net anyway get in there we go man did that take a while it's been like an hour or so i was actually starting to lose a little bit of hope Got scent on there and everything. Chucked all along these snags, even up this side of the bank, nothing. Just thought I'd quickly flick this corner before moving further upstream. And we got a flathead. These are good size as well. Look at that. First fish of the morning. End of the challenge ticked off. Beautiful little flat fella. Fast to guess the centimeters, probably 44 to 45. Very nice pan size, but like always, I do like to let these guys go. It is nice to keep a feed from time to time, but I'm all for catch and release. So for this guy, it's his lucky day. You're going back in the water sunshine. He's wrapped that lure fully in the net. That'll be a challenge in itself to get off. Send you back on your way. Seems pretty keen. There we go. Thanks, mate. First fish of the challenge on the kids combo. I'm going to keep fishing this bank going along, see if we can catch any more flathead or brim. You never know and I'm going to move further downstream and target some other snags. It is low tide, so I don't think the brim would be sitting up on the snags at the moment. They do like to sit here on the high tides, so I'll flick this little bit and then we'll move up. I reckon that'll be the game plan. Just checking that leader for any flathead scuffing. Nope, hasn't frayed it. One little bit. Not one bit. Man, these legs are getting annoying though. Stop wrapping around the hook. Let's get her back on out there. Can we back to back it though? That's the real question. The drag on this thing is shocking. I mean, what do you expect, Josh, from a $25 reel? All right, I've been chucking this thing around for a bit now. No luck. So what I'm gonna do, if you see my last video where I was fishing the Risky Critter by Bait Junkie, I'm gonna cut just a little bit off the end of this to make it just that tiny bit smaller. I don't know if it's this lure that's very dodgy and I can't get a bite, or the profile of this is just slightly too large. So I'll cut that down, like I just did, re-thread it and see if that, that tiny little length reduction is the difference between getting a bite or not. Probably not, that's it's definitely gonna not be the case. It's just gonna be the fact that it's one of those days where the fish just aren't really biting that much. We've got we to mix things up and give it a try. Because nothing's working at the moment. I've got nothing to lose. That'll be a flatty, I think. Oh, this rod feels like it's gonna fall apart. How's the drag on it? Big bendage. Oh. This is a good flatty. Oh, that is a solid fish. Wow. He's got some go. Get that net ready once again. Just right off the corner of that log. Gave that rod butt a couple of twitches. We're onto a cracker. Oh, he's only on by the tiniest thread. Get in here, mate. Yes. Number two. Oh, he just put water everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Larry, mate, you really need to invest in a better net. 
This thing just gets, look at this tanglage. He's gonna go psycho in a second. Oh, we got him out. There we go. Fish number two hits the kayak. Beautifully sized flatty. Once again, on that El Cheapo combo. This just goes to show you don't need the most high-end gear to still have some fun and get onto some fish. Don't get me wrong, I love fishing my expensive gear. It's very enjoyable to use and it definitely outbeats the performance of this rod and reel on the water. One last look at that flatty. Motor oil lure, corner of the mouth. Beautiful. Let's get him back in the drink. Oh yeah. No hesitation, straight back to the bottom. Ew. just followed that up. Wow. Wow. Don't think it'll be coming back. Like a 60 centimeter flatty just followed that all the way to the yak. Man. Shouldn't have reefed it in so quick. Missed my opportunity on that fella. Mmm, that's frustrating. Yep, there we go. That's a brim. Oh, as soon as it landed. Oh, it's a good one. This drag is either too loose or too tight. Wow. <sighs> Spinning me around in circles. Good fish. <sighs> oh wow, very good brim. I pray this thing on my head is recording. Come up, buddy. Come up. Oh, it's a big perch. You're kidding. That was one of the targets. Get in here, you snag dweller. Oh, wow. That right there is a beautiful perch. Wow. Look at that thing right there. That is an absolute cracking perch. Big bucket mouth on it. On the front of the mouth, about there, it's about 37, 38 centimetres. Probably 38. That was a beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. This guy hit that lure as soon as it landed. Casted right up against the timber, wound up the slack, and there was a fish on. Thought it was a brim, but a very nice sized EP. How's the mouth on that thing? Can fit my whole GoPro down there. Had that fish in the net the whole time. I think it's just about right that we give it the nice water release. Now I am sitting in roughly four to five foot of water. So I'm gonna be squeezing this GoPro very tight so I don't drop it. You're ready to go home. Now for the people that don't know, estuary perch are actually a schooling fish. So I'm thinking there might be more than one there. This system in particular, I have caught probably about three or four perch out of here. And every time I've caught one, they are always sitting by themselves. Although it's very common for them to be in a school, I've only ever really caught them by themselves. I'm actually really surprised I even managed to keep that fish on on this $25 combo with $2 line. Very blown away. That drag is absolutely shocking. It's either too tight, too loose. There's no, no in between it. And it doesn't come off smoothly. 
because there's only one ball bearing. One ball bearing. How do they even make a reel with that? I'll get it back in there. See if there's any more perch, boys. And if there's not, we'll just keep flicking along the bank. I think I'm going to have to call it soon. It's starting to rain. It's starting to sprinkle right now. All right, just flicked along there a couple of times. No fish. That guy was just sitting by himself. So I'll just keep moving along. There's a truck coming. It's very loud. Oh, a little bit too far. That's in the spot there. Let that sink down. A couple of little light taps, little twitches. Get those arms on that lure dancing. I seem to find I have pretty good success with these uh, like crayfish or crab or creature bait they call them. It's called a creature bait. These kind of presentations by just doing a couple of taps, whether it be tapping it like this or tapping the rod butt. I always just seem to find I do pretty well when using those retrieves. Not necessarily for this lure in particular, but just creature baits and creature baits in general. Oh, oh, that's a fish. I was having issues with my line. Well, well. Oh, he's got me on the sticks. Come out of there, buddy. Come out of there, buddy. Oh, it's another perch, I think. He's got me all up in the sticks. It's a big perch. Oh, you're kidding me. He's had so much time to inhale the lure. Because I was mucking around with my reel. Get in here. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think that might be up there with a PB. I don't know how he hasn't snapped me off on all those branches. Look at that lure way down the hatch. You're kidding. Way down there. It's going to be a bit scary sticking your fingers, actually. Although it's way down there, it's only on by a thread. Look at that. My lead is destroyed. Well, I was just talking about these fish being a schooling fish, and we didn't get onto any after catching that first one, but about 100 metres up from it, and we got onto another one. They just love sitting in snags, these fish. They're such a fun... Fun fish to target, and when you actually get onto one, the reward is priceless. Nothing beats a day. Like, it's such a cool looking fish. Very nice mix between a barramundi with that big bucket mouth. Barramundi and Australian bass, all in one. This fish went 39 to 40 centimetres, which is a really good size for around these parts. Yeah, that is a cracker. Absolute cracker. Love targeting these guys. Let's get you back. I'm actually starting to hear a number of fish making some popping noises at the bases of these snags. I'm, try I'm trying to decide if they're, or trying to think if they're brim or perch. It might even be worth chucking on a surface lure because I did buy that surface lure earlier. I am very tempted to chuck it on, but I don't know. It's pretty hard to get them to bite on this crayfish imitation. So we might just stick with that for now. All right, perch, when you're ready. You know what, on second thoughts, I'm actually pretty satisfied with how many fish we've caught on that lure. So what I might do is chuck the surface lure around, that little popper that I got. Hopefully it's not stuck to my bag. There we go. That little micro popper. So I'm gonna fish around these snags. I've got that perch just off this one here. But I'm gonna fish just along here, going back to the corner, and I'll probably head off and call it a day. So we'll tie this one on see if we can't catch a fish on it well long story short I just casted straight into a tree very very high up 
and that popper is gone. I just tied it on a couple casts later in the tree. So we're going ahead and putting back on this little crustacean-y thing. Right, we've gone ahead and tied back on our little crusties. That's the packet. I've already showed it, but that's them lures. Z-Man crusties in motor oil. Chuck it on back out. I am making my way back, so I'll flick these banks as I go. Alrighty, fish my way all the way back to the ramp with no success. And I think it's time to call it a day. And I'm more than happy to, because we actually had a cracker session. This little combo right here got an absolute workout. I think it's pretty fair to say I definitely run it through its paces. Still actually can't believe I landed the amount of fish I did on this thing, but somehow got the job done. Thank you everyone for watching till the end of the video. Like always, like the video if you did enjoy. Comment down below what you thought about today's fishing challenge. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see some more fishing content from me. Also, I get a number of people comment on my videos what my Instagram is, so I'm going to pop it up on the screen right here. It's just josh.fishing.oz. Uh, give it a follow, check it out if you want. Anyways, I'm going to load this kayak back up onto, onto the ramp and I'll see you next week. They're too little. It's going to give you this. Oh, you Not want bad. that? He said, thank you very much. There you, you go. Want, oh, look, you got the lure too. Yeah, I got that for today's, just the video I was doing today, so she's more than welcome to actually have it. Lovely. Both of you. There you go, either one. You can share, you can share the fishing line. Put it oh. to good use. Thank you. We've got to figure out a name for this rod and reel as well. Bit of red, bit of pink. Might call it the hot rod. The hot rod might be the, uh, the name for that one. Crack open our pack of 1 16th. Yeah, I'm not putting that in the video, that was cringe. Well, after about two and a half hours of flicking around, catching nothing. Hello, hello. G'day, g'day, Jacob. Are you, are you just finished work? Sorry? Are you coming home? Mate, I'm home. I just went for a boog. Went for a boog? Yeah, mate, went for a boog. Did you catch any? Um, oh, catch any? You went boogie boarding. What am I saying? Oh, I did not want to do it. <laughs> Far out. There we go. There's a fish. Nice, Josh. Good fish. Good fish. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see some more fishing content from me. Uh, comment down below on what you thought about today's video. And if 